Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Gear Up with Greggs. I'm Trevor, and today we're going to be taking a look at another riveting type of fastener, rib nuts. These little guys here are quite cool. They're called rivet nuts, and the purpose of a rivet nut is to allow you to thread into panels that are normally too thin for threads. It works essentially in the same way as a rivet, where a rivet is a permanent fixture between two materials. A riv nut gives you the ability to easily remove your fastened pieces when and if you need. See, instead of clamping the two pieces together permanently, a riv nut provides you with a way to thread into thin pieces of metal. This is your basic riv nut gun which includes a mandrel, an adjusting knob, lock ring, and various size nose pieces which fit into the body of the gun. We also have a locking bolt here that locks in position for your stroke so you do not damage your rib nuts. The mandrels are interchangeable, are numbered in size, and work with various nose pieces which would correlate to the proper size of mandrel. You would change out your mandrel and nose piece for a larger size of rib nut. So how do they work? First take the thin material you would like to thread something into and drill an appropriately sized hole. For this 1024 rib nut, you would drill a one quarter inch size hole. Now then we want to thread on our rivet nut into the rivet nut gun mandrel making sure that the mandrel is at the end or bottom of the rivet nut. Then we want to adjust our stroke by tightening these locking rings, place the rivet nut into the hole, and squeeze the trigger. You set the rivet nut into place by buckling the side walls. Now you're left with a permanent internal thread attached to this piece of steel. With the proper size bolt, you can fasten anything to it. Easy as that. These rivet nuts come in a few different styles, but the basic principle is still the same. It gives you a hole to screw into, which comes in handy in a wide variety of applications, particularly when joining two thin materials together, like sheet metal. The MRN series flathead rivet nut, the ones we use in our example, provide a quick, efficient, and cost-effective way of putting permanent threads in thin materials. They come with internal threads that are ready for a screw or bolt right after installation. They're great for metal, fiberglass, or even rigid plastic. The flathead design is rudimentary and quite visible once installed, but the exposed surface area provides the most leverage for your bolt. This is a great choice for higher torque applications. ML series ribbed rib nuts are similar to flathead rib nuts in most ways, but they also provide increased leverage for your bolt with added vibration resistance. The external ribbing provides these perks, making them ideal for situations where things might get a bit bumpy, like in cars or boats. See, when the ribbed section gets compressed into the material, it acts like teeth, biting into the sheet of metal, thus reducing the vibration and possible rotation of the ribbed rib nut. Finally, we have click poly nuts. I know it doesn't look like much, but poly nuts pack a lot of punch. The main advantage of these guys is that once they're in place, they sit nearly flush with your material. This means the materials you are joining can sit flush together, especially when compared to the space left in a flathead rib nut. The downside of this is the poly nuts cannot be used in all higher torque situations flathead rib nuts could be used in. But just like the flathead rib nuts, poly nuts don't allow loosening of your attached bolt under vibration and won't rotate attached to the material of choice. Great for when you need a permanent flush way to attach threads to an otherwise too thin material. Rivet nuts are also known as blind threaded inserts, and for good reason. Like rivets, rib nuts can be installed from only one side of a material. In most applications, you won't ever see the other side of your rib nut, which I guess is where blind comes from. This makes them ideal for situations where access can be an issue. Now that you know the basics of rib nuts, 
I'm going to demonstrate another installation to show you how the rib nut setter works. First, you start with a pre-drilled hole in your material. Then, thread on your rivet nut into your rivet nut gun. Place the rivet nut into the hole and squeeze. This tool screws into the inner threads of the rib nut and uses pressure to squeeze the rib nut, creating a buckle in the metal. In doing so, it's secured in the hole. You can then take another piece of metal and simply attach it with a bolt, which you can then remove at any time should you need to. Rivet nuts, as opposed to rivets, come in handy when you're putting something together that needs to be disassembled and reassembled with ease. Whether it be putting together playground equipment, a bicycle, or even attaching that cool GoPro to an ATV, rib nuts can be used for it all. And if you're worried about damaging pre-painted material, don't be. Rib nuts won't scratch or otherwise damage your material in the installation process, but they are a permanent fixture. So measure twice, rib nut once. They're great for all metals, most plastics, and even ceramics. At Greg's, we have two different rivet nut tools but we also carry multiple kits. So, if you're just learning about rib nuts or don't own a rib nut setter, you can buy a kit with everything you need to get yourself started. Now, the rivet nut setter tool is your standard tool for any job as it installs most size of rib nuts. The strong steel body and comfortable handle combine to make this a rugged, durable tool that's sure to last. The rivet nut setter tool also comes with a reusable vinyl pouch for storage that contains different sizes of mandrels and nose pieces. If you're looking for a bit more power, consider the rivet nut tool. This tool is for heavy duty use and can install rivet nuts in aluminum or steel. With quick change mandrels and easily adjustable stroke, this tool is handy to have around. But if you're still not sure what tool will best suit your needs, why not try a kit? Between the thread setter kit, poly nut kit, and the ribbed nut kit, you'll have multiple options when it comes to the type of rib nut you need. All kits contain mandrels and nose pieces of various sizes, a thread setter tool, assorted rivet nuts, instructions, and a wrench. All that inside this durable, compartmentalized carrying case. They are also available in metric if that's something you're looking for. Basically, everything you need to make sure you've got the tool and the nuts for the job. Well, I hope you now have a better understanding of how a rivet nut works. If you've still got questions, we've got answers. So don't hesitate to call in or visit our all-Canadian website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, my name is Trevor, and this has been another episode of Gear Up with Greg's. Thanks for watching, and have a great Canadian day.